Hi, my name is Dr. Krishona Martinson, Professor and Equine Extension Specialist with the University of Minnesota. Today we're going to talk about the five keys to horse pasture management, including mowing, dragging, resting, fertilizing, and controlling weeds. These five strategies are commonly referred to best management practices or BMPs. Horses do not graze uniformly and tend to prefer immature or shorter grasses and avoid grazing more mature or taller grasses. Mowing helps maintain consistent grass growth and maturity, encourages uniform grazing, and helps control weeds by removing seed producing heads. Mowing pastures to a height of three to four inches is recommended after each rotation. Mowing lower than three inches can make grasses less productive. Keep in mind, the entire pasture may not require mowing. Instead, focus on the taller areas horses did not graze. Dragging helps disperse manure piles. Horses rarely graze near manure piles, and larger piles can inhibit grass growth underneath. To help kill parasites commonly found in manure, drag pastures during hot and dry periods two to three times each year. Rainfall will help disperse manure and its nutrients into the soil, thus encouraging horses to graze uniformly. Many types of drags work, including pallets, sections of chain link fence, and drags designed for pastures. If using an arena drag, make sure to flip the drag so tines are facing upwards, since aggressive tines on some drags may harm pasture grasses. Resting allows pastures to regrow from three to four inches after mowing, to six to eight inches and is needed after each rotation. Once cool season grass pastures reach six to eight inches tall, grazing can resume. Regrowth can happen quickly during cool, wet periods and when fertility is optimized. Regrowth can be slower during hot and dry periods and can stop when grasses become dormant during extended drought. Without rest, Pastures become overgrazed and weedy, and roots become weakened. Utilizing a dry lot with multiple pastures makes it easier to allow pastures to rest and regrow. Horse owners should start and stop grazing based on plant height and not a calendar. Pastures should be fertilized based on soil test results. In the Midwest, fertilizer can be applied each spring as soon as soils are dry. If possible, apply half of the recommended fertilizer in the spring and the remaining half in early June. It's best if fertilizers are applied right before a light rainfall to help dissolve it into the soil. Horses should be held off pastures until the fertilizer pellets are no longer visible. Grazing can resume when pellets have dissolved. Manure should only be applied if there is more than two acres of pasture per adult horse, if the manure is mostly free of bedding material and should be drugged to encourage breakdown. Even with manure application, additional fertilizer will likely be required. Weed control is best achieved with mowing, avoiding overgrazing, and maintaining fertility, which helps grasses outcompete weeds. If a herbicide is needed, Read the label before application and ensure the product is labeled for use in a pasture and follow all directions and grazing restrictions. After grazing restrictions have expired, grazing can resume. So in review, the five keys to horse pasture management include mowing, dragging, resting, fertilizing, and controlling weeds. Doing these five key steps will help improve the productivity of your pasture. These five keys are more easily done if you have multiple pastures and a dry lot. 